Hey everyone, this is Mr. McKinney with your 1 through 10 on forces and newtons. Today we're going to explore how we measure a force. So in the last video, our tennis friend, the tennis ball, helped us um, explain that a force is simply a push or a pull on an object. What we're going to do today is look at how we measure this push or pull force. Um, to do that, we're going to start with these. I want to show you what one Newton's worth of force is. Um, no, these aren't not in case I get hungry. Um, this bar weighs about 35 grams. So if I stack three of them onto my palm, that is equivalent to about one Newton's worth of force um, kind of pushing on my hand. So if I kind of feel how much that is and try to mimic that by pushing with that amount of force, that's about one Newton. Now, one Newton is not a ton of force. Um, however, let me give you a few other examples. The average human bite force with our molars is about 750 Newtons. The average bite force of an Amer American alligator is 9,000 Newtons. So that's why it's really hard to get out of their um, chomp chompers there. All right. Now, in science, you might see um, some scientists, physicists use a scale like this. It's called a spring scale. Um, we could bring our friend the, the fidget spinner back. If I put this on here, it pulls down this spring scale and it shows 0.5 newtons. Okay. We need to clarify something real quick. So we use weight as a way to infer how much mass something has. But really, weight is the force of gravity, um, Earth's gravity, pulling down on us. So this fidget spinner has some amount of matter um, in it, which we call mass. Okay? If I were to fly this fidget spinner up to the moon, the amount of matter in it, or its mass, would remain the same. Okay? How I measure that mass is I put it on a scale. Now. Earth's gravity is pulling down on it, and that changes, you know, we can use that to infer how much mass is in there. If I were to take this same fidget spinner into to the moon and weigh it, it would actually show that it weighs less than 0.5 newtons like it does on Earth, okay? So that's an important concept to, to kind of realize that weight is really a measurement of the amount of force that um, Earth's gravity is pulling down on with. Okay, and since that remains the same, then we can change objects and know that it's because the object, not because of Earth's gravity. So this water bottle has about eight ounces of water in it. Um, when I let that one go there, it's at about 3.5 Newtons. Okay, so what that means is, of course, because of Earth's gravity, when I hold this on my hand, I get about 3.5 Newtons worth of force pulling down or put, you know, pulling down from Earth, in this case, pushing on my hand. So I hope that um, clarifies what a Newton is for you. Make sure uh, if you're collecting data that on your paper as you're writing down, you put a capital N next to your numbers, just like you would if it was centimeters, you'd put a little CM. Um, you want to use the capital N symbol and make sure you dress your numbers with the correct unit. We don't want any naked numbers um, on our, in our data. That's what I call it if you don't have a unit. This is a kid's show. We want to dress all of our numbers with units. Okay? So I'm going to leave you with this. I want you to think about this. How much force do you think it takes? So you would have it in Newtons. How much force do you think it would take to take this tennis ball and squish it into nothing, okay? Um, hope, you, hope this clarified force and Newtons for you. Until next time, stay strong and science on.